I don't know about you, but I have several processes in my job that require me to go through a certain number of steps in order to complete that particular task. And I don't want to necessarily make it a, a, a traditional checklist that you can do here in Workflowy in this app, but I want to be able to treat it more like a standard operating procedure of like my documentation of what to do that stays there, but I need a way to kind of like work through where I am in that process. So in my list, I've got, I've got, I've just collected all different areas of such things that I do in my job of that are checklisty. Um, and so let me go into one for an example. And what a genius idea that I came up with was to create a, a bullet here of just, just a bunch of hyphens. It's, it's that simple. Uh, and basically this is like, if you can do this process within a sitting, then this is a really simple way to keep up with where you are in the process, especially if, if, if you're like me and you have notes that kind of like expand and go and kind of get a little more detailed, you can really, literally like pinpoint where you are with this. So one of the beauties of workflow is you can just drag things around. So say I'm ready to do this first step or, or I've just finished copying this spreadsheet from the M drive, I can go ahead and move this down. And so I know the next thing I'm needing to do is to update this file. And after I do that, I can move this down again. And then if I'm going to go and, uh, okay, okay, well, I've done the first part of this, but I've not done the last part. I can leave this here, go do it on my other screen or whatever, and come back to it. Like, okay, I still need to do that. Okay, well, let me move this up. Okay, great. And so I'm going through the process, and I'm working my way through uh, a, a, a checklist of sorts. Where I think this method would break down is long-term checklists. If you've got multiple projects running, I don't think this is going to remind me or keep me up to date of where I am on each project. This is more of a like, okay, I've got to, I've got to make this website update. So let me go through and 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 knock all this out and get through all this. And you can easily check and see where you are and keep up to date with where you are instead of checking them off. Because I was afraid I was like, oh, well, if I make it a, a, like a, a true checklist, you I mean yeah, you you have the ability to complete things off and then get marked off. And that's neat, uh, but not for what I not for much not for these like SOP standard operating procedure checklist that I'm going to be doing over and over again. Another thing is I can I can easily just update. So if if I'm going through a, this process and I realize, you know what, this actually has a third step, so let me add it. It's a living document. It's a living uh, checklist that I can go through and update as I just move this little guy through. Uh, I do have one bonus tip to take this a step further. Let me go to a different checklist to show you that. For this particular checklist, they, this is a update I have to make to the website and a lot of it is the same. I've got a copy of a templated text paragraph and put it on the website. Everything remains the same except the date changes and the link changes, basically. So instead of like saying refer back to email, refer back to email, or to get that date and thing, I basically nested and put a little link to the information I needed. Like, hey, here's the date. Here's the time. I've got the link in here. And so I can copy and paste it and put it where I want. And it like moves with me, so like I, this is where I am in the process. But like, say, say I was here, and like I've got to put it on this page, and I got to put it here. I expand all this down, and I'm like, okay, for the date time, well, it's for August seventh, twenty seventh. So very good. But then I move on down to the process, and I'm I'm to this next part, and so I'm doing all of these things in here. And so I'm say I'm here. I'm like, what was the date again? <laughs> I'm just like I keep it within the little the mover so if you have any kind of like progress things that re that require um certain information to be used throughout that process then that's a, a fun way to just kind of like just put it in there because it'll move with you if this is if these lines are not that pretty you could totally make this a, a huge line of emojis and put a bunch of emojis or something in there and have that be like your line in the sand to help you keep track of where you are and what you need to do next.